Hey guys, James here today, and immediately after I posted the last tutorial on building on a cliff lot, people asked, how do you do a three-story cliff lot? So you have one story there, and another one below it, and then obviously one on the top like we had before. Uh, and we're going to cover that now. Uh, it's, it's pretty similar to what we did before, but this time actually does require the usage of constrained floor elevation. So we're going to start off with the same sort of foundation that we had before. So we're just going to build out our, our sort of where we're going to have our building. So let's bring it out here because we want uh, probably there. We might go a little bit lower than that in terms of where our build will end up, but let's go with that. Let's remove the center just like we did before. And keep in mind, if you haven't seen the initial um, cliff lot building tutorial, probably check that out first. And then this one, actually, we'll put that back, by the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, check that out first. And then this one. So what we're going to do, we're just going to build a level above here. Now, uh, what you got to understand is if you want uh, three or two levels built into the cliff, you need to have three levels in the house. Um, so we're going to have to build it up like this. What's going to happen is we're going to lower this middle level down. So it's just above this foundation here. And then we can sort of work it into the, the cliff. Um, kind of hard to explain. Much easier, much easier to sort of show you how it works and all that. So what we're going to do, uh, here's our, uh, obviously our main floor where the foundation is. We're going to go up one level, fill that all with flooring. And if you just turn on the grid mode here, this makes it a little easier to see. Uh, what we're going to do now is going to bring down this level. And to do that, we have to open up our cheat window with Control, Shift, and C, and type in Constrain, Floor, Elevation, False. Just like that. And we're going to place three stairs in a row. And, and as, you, as you'll remember, one level is 16 stairs high. So if we go three stairs down, or three sets of four down, we end up going 12 stairs down. That means we still have a four-step height. And a four-step height is the same height as that foundation at the bottom, if that makes sense. Hopefully it'll make a little bit of sense when you see it in just a minute. So basically, once we put the three in a row, we level it out to that height. And you'll notice now that that level is actually the same height as the sort of foundation there below it. So now it's like a having double foundation, basically. Uh, and this is how we're going to do it for now. I'll show you another way to make a much smaller uh, little bit in a little bit. Just after this will be sort of round two of it. Uh, so we've, we've sunk in that level down now. Now what we've got to do is dig out where our levels are going to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove the inner foundation, which we probably should have done before leveling out the level above, only because we have to turn off the cheat now. So open up the cheat window with Control, Shift, and C, press the up arrow, change false back to true, and let's just go ahead and remove all this foundation in the middle here, just like we did in the previous tutorial. Now, uh, instead of just going down one level, which is three stairs, as you know, so what, if we were just building uh, one uh, level in the cliff, that is, that's as far as uh, down as we'd need to go. Uh, because from the bottom point here, where the terrain is up to the top of that foundation, is one level. But as you know, we've got another level above that that we want to use. So we actually have to go down twice as far, which I guess makes sense. So we're going to place another three steps in a row. We're going to go one, two, three three. So that's going to be our second level down below. So we're going to level all this out now. And of course, you don't have to build all the way into the cliff like I am. You could just have it on the sort of outer edges, outer fringes, if you will. And now let's just level out some of these little areas there. Okay. So now what's happened is we, it's still not right. We're still not done. Um, we have our sort of our depth that it needs to be at. But our, our level here isn't at the correct level and our foundation level isn't right. We want this wall at the front here to be like this one here to be one level high. And we also want this foundation here to be one level high. So to do that, let's go ahead and turn back on our cheat again with control shift and C. Press the up arrow, change true to false like that. And let's just build a wall straight across the front here. And what this is going to do is it's going to pull down some of these walls here uh, that we can work with. What we really want to do, though, is get a grid square to appear that, so that we can level from. If you just uh, build a wall in a diagonal, you'll see it brings up a grid square, which is really handy. So we're going to use that and we're going to level down this whole inner section here. Just the inner uh, sort of areas of the wall. Uh, we're going to leave those edges around the side. They, they actually kind of need to be there. Believe it or not, that's just how it works. Um, so uh, you can, of course, if you want to it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, you can just mess around with it, but you can level these sort of fringe areas there, but obviously not that one there because that's where it goes above to regular terrain, uh, if that makes sense. So we can level that area there down. Uh, although you can see that one actually messed up the cliff a bit. That's why I said you can only level it in certain areas. So if we just do that one, one, hang on, let's go one more over. That should be fine. 
Right, so now what you'll notice is that that's one level high there, and the one down the bottom is also one level high, which is perfect. Uh, what we're going to do, we're actually just going to sneak it back a little bit. Uh, so we're just going to bring it back a couple of squares, like that. And we're going to do the same up above, just so it all lines up out the back and we can sort of get an idea. Uh, we'll leave that there as a, a balcony. Um, right, so what have we got now then? So around the front of the house, we've got two foundations, or I guess you can call them foundation. I'm trying to get my camera down a little lower. Uh, so we've got the, obviously the regular foundation, and then our sort of level in between, which is our second foundation. And then this is going to be our main floor at the front, which is cool. And then around the back, we actually have a three-story house, which is awesome. So it kind of extends down the cliff now. And of course, they are proper levels. Uh, if we just turn the cheat back off again, back, turn false back to true. And you just want to, with all these sort of uh, edges here, you just build, all you have to do is just build walls around them. And you'll note the game is letting me place walls without using any cheats, because that, that means all the walls are the correct height. If you get an issue saying you can't build a wall there, that means you haven't uh, made it the right height, and you want to double check that. Uh, so down the bottom here, I'm just going to get rid of that little extra bit there, and get rid of these extra foundations. And then we have our sort of little cliff area around the back. So we can do like a little balcony there or something. And these are going to be three fully usable levels, uh, which is really, really awesome. So you can use this level, that level, and the level up top. So you get three levels, and it only looks like one from the front, which is awesome. Uh, now, uh, I, was gonna, I was saying before that you can make these smaller. Uh, as you will note in the uh, cliff lot building tutorial, we did a one-step high foundation. You can, of course, apply the same principle here. Uh, what we're going to want to do, though, is... So it's probably just going to be easier to start over. Anyway, so that's how you do it if you just want regular foundation height. Um, now let's go over it and see how we do it if we want to do it from one step high foundation so it looks even more sort of incognito. Right back to the beginning here. So we're going to get our foundation tool. We're going to hold down the Alt key as we did in the previous tutorial. And let's just drag it out over the cliff a little bit. That's perfect. Let's build a couple of levels on top because as you know, we need two levels on top. That's the first one. I've got to turn off auto roof again. There goes auto roof, and let's build the second level now. Right, that's cool. We can leave the top level. We're just going to go back down to the uh, sort of second one here. Put it with the floor in again. Get our grid open. Let's go change that back to false. Uh, this should be f becoming fairly uh, standard now, standard steps to work with it. Now, uh, we need to get this wall down to one step height, so it's like the one on the bottom. So for that, we're going to do our three stairs in a row once again. So one, oh, that's not in a row, in a row. Two, that's not in a row either. <laughs> not wanting to cooperate. Three in a row. Okay, so we've got our three steps in a row. Um, and then we're just going to level that out from the bottom. But we're not done yet. We've got to go a little bit further down, as you'll know. Because that's just a foundation height. That's four steps high. That's not what we want. So what we're going to do, grab our stairs, hold down the Alt key, and we place one step. If you use the eyedropper tool, and if you press E, it will update the flooring. Because what you'll note, if I hold down Alt here, and I place it, the flooring hasn't updated, uh, even though it actually has changed like there. It, just, it, it updates after a little while, but it takes its time. But if you just uh, swap over to the eyedrop tool or something else like that, it will update the flooring, so you can see. Uh, but anyways, digressing... Um, oh, that was a, a nice digress there. Um, we want to do three steps in a row of this sort of one step height. So that's three in a row now. Uh, and that's going to be perfect, because that's going to be our foundation height stair right there. So there we go. Bring that all the way across. And now our two levels here are actually smaller than a regular foundation, which is amazing. <laughs> it's really, it really doesn't look like it's going to be a three-story house. But now, of course, we've got to get the right level underneath. And that's going to be fun, isn't it? So what we're going to do is do the same thing we always do, is remove the center of the foundation. We're going to turn our sheet and back off. A lot of turning off and on again in here. If it doesn't work, turn it off and on again. Right. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to remove that center bit there. Now we want to do three in a row again. Three is the magic number. One, two, three. Oh, th three. There we go. Right. So that would be fine if that was just one level, as you know. But we need, because we've done a one um, step high foundation, we need to go down another three stairs. Uh, so let's just do that now. We're going to go one, two. No, it doesn't, it doesn't like doing that, does it? You have to flatten it out like that. Uh, one, two. Two, where is it? There's the second one. Little bit picky, little bit picky. Uh, let's see. Bring all that out. And then three again. And this will be one level underneath. 
Of course, you could have done this a uh, uh, more efficient way just by using an extra sort of set of four, but we're, anyways, I'm not going to sort of get, get you confused by that. So now that is one level down, perfectly one level high. We're going to go two levels down. So we're going to do another three in a row, just like we did before. One, two, th three. There's the one. And let's go ahead and flatten that all out down there. And then once more, we have to do three uh, single stairs in a row, just like before. So we go, not like that. Click and drag to get the one. Click and drag. Oh, it's seeming to want to work there. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, so we've got our three in a row there, which is perfect. That means we're now down at the right depth where we need to be, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and flatten all this down to where it needs to be. And then we've got to do the same thing again with our uh, level above. Let's just flatten that there. So now with our level above here, we need this to go down um, to uh, sort of the the right sort of level, which I'm, I'm com I've completely messed up that sentence. Uh, let's change false uh, true back to false so we can chuck in our wall just like we did before. And let's, uh, oh, well, that's actually fine because that's brought all that down there. So what we're going to do is just level from this area here. Let's do that little wall trick we did before, lower all this inner area, like so. And that, my friends, is how you get three levels. And this is with the, our one step high foundation. So even now it definitely looks like a one, so, one story house out the front and a three story house at the back. Three story party house on the cliff, yes! Um, anyways, whew, that, was a bit, uh, that was a bit more involved than just doing obviously one sort of cliff lot level, but that is how you do multiple levels. If you want to do a, do a fourth level, that is entirely possible. You just do the same step, repeat it again. Um, what you remember, one level is 16 stairs high. A foundation is four stairs high. Uh, an alt foundation, I guess, or a small foundation is one step high. So then all you got to do is even up the number of steps. So if you have a four step high foundation, you need to go down 12 steps. If you have a one step high foundation, you got to go down 15 steps. And if you have two levels, then you obviously just double that, um, which is how it works. If you have three levels, you triple the depth. Uh, anyways, I hope that sort of it teaches you how to do it. I mean, I don't, this, this way isn't like, it's not as easy to show and explain as doing it. The, um, the sort of one story cliff lot, but, um, hope this helped. I uh, hope you can build some even more awesome lots now, but thank you for watching. I'll see you next time and have a great day.